Governor Murphy says he is ordering flags in New Jersey at half staff to honor a Plainfield firefighter killed in the line of duty. Firefighter Marquise Hudson died while responding to a house fire yesterday. CBS 2's John Diaz is live in Plainfield with more. John. Yeah, well, Andrew and Dave, good morning to both of you. And this morning, the cause of this fire, it is still under investigation. Marshals are actually out here as we speak, and we see some uh, vehicles with code enforcement out here as well. Meanwhile, though, the mayor of Plainfield saying that the city is not just mourning, but calling the city a family and saying that it is dealing with, grappling with an irreplaceable loss. A Plainfield police watch over a somber scene Saturday morning. The badly damaged two family home that firefighter Marquise Hudson would last report to now has caution tape wrapped around it. It's here the mayor Plainfield says 32 year old Hudson was badly injured while trying to put out a fire. Either fell through the floor or fell down the stairs. And we don't know the circumstances at this time. There was a May Day that went out, and once that happened, um, four firefighters went in and got him out within anywhere from two to four minutes. We're told Hudson showed up to work at 8 o'clock Friday morning, and within 30 minutes, the call came in that he was injured. He was then rushed to a hospital, and doctors worked on him for over an hour, but they were unsuccessful, and the mayor says he died. This tragedy has undoubtedly cast a shadow over our city. This exact pain is a feeling this city has never felt before because officials say this is the first time in its history that a firefighter died while fighting a fire, though they always knew it was a possibility. This is just a stark reminder every day when the men and women of the New Jersey Fire Service don our gear, this is a reality that is in the back of our minds every day. The community is still reeling over the loss of a man who is being remembered as a hero who dedicated his life to serving others. He leaves behind a family and three children. Very sorry to hear that. Very sorry to hear that. You know, very sorry. If I can change what happened, if I had the power to change it, I would reverse everything that happened bad here. Now, fire officials say that everyone who actually lives inside this two-family home, they were able to escape without any injuries. However, we're also told that three firefighters had to be uh, treated at a nearby hospital. However, their injuries are not life-threatening. For now, we are live this morning from Plainfield, New Jersey. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.